Okay, now you can see on my desktop, right there, it says SW Upgrade. That's for the Samsung. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that. You see the uh, license agreement come up. And you say accept if you want to use this stuff, which I did. Next. It says flashing your phone will result in the loss of all data. So we already copied that over into a folder onto our computer. So even though the 2 gig chip is still in there, it doesn't matter. I took all the files off of it. So let's hit next. Okay, now I already removed the battery and I put it back in. It asks you to make sure your phone is fully recharged. Why? I don't know. I guess it makes some kind of difference somehow. But I just did what it said and we made sure the phone was fully charged. I'm hitting next. And it's asking me to go ahead and it wants me to do what I just did with the phone. You can see it right here. It's already in that mode of the waiting for the software. The same as on the computer. I'm going to hit next. Okay, plug the USB cable in. We already did all this. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit next. And it's going to install the device drivers. It's got to find the COM. So most likely it will end up in COM4. It's, it's got to connect with his phone on the Samsung. So let it do its thing. As you can see, Windows 7, which I'm using right now, is finding the Samsung USB composite device, which we already know. And now it's finding the CDMA modem device. So it says that it's ready to use. I'm going to close this window. I'm going to hit next. It wants me to remove the battery again. I've already done this, so I'm not going to do it again. I just want the phone to go ahead. I'm going to pass these windows and I want the phone to get communicate with the computer. You can see down here it'll tell you that the comms connected right here on your computer screen. So that tells me that it's ready to go. Plus the next button is highlighted. So we we're ready to go and we're going to download the software. Now, you can see right here it says please press the software download. We're going to do that and you don't want to disturb the phone. I'm going to go ahead and hit start and let it go to 100%. Let's let it start downloading before I cut off the camera. And then I'll cut to the phone because you'll see some things happening on the screen of the phone. As you can see, the software is uploading into the phone. Phone's getting it. It's very quick. It doesn't take very long at all once you do everything. You get it all prepped and you take your time and you don't mess up. And pretty soon we'll be at 100%. And in the telephone you can see it's also got the little status bar moving up and once this thing starts loading off the computer and onto the phone you'll see a lot of stuff going on with the face of the phone it's going to tell you that everything's okay it's all downloading fine here we go it's starting right now it's going it's writing the rom right now copying phone image, all that kind of stuff. The 2.1 being copied onto the phone right now. It's gonna copy uh, for another 10 seconds or so and then it's ready to go. The phone will have 2.1 Android. Complete, there we go. Now, on here it says 100% on the screen, and after that, all you have to do is disconnect from the computer. As you can see, the telephone now is rebooting, and the screen is telling me that I can close the operating 
ROM thing. So I'm going to close it. That's done. You can unplug the phone now. That's done. Let me set this back up while this phone reboots. I'm going to put the battery cover back on it. Since I did not take the memory card out. Let me let the phone totally reboot first. I don't want to disturb it while it's doing its first boot up sequence. It's going to take another minute and you'll hear it beep and then you won't be able to feel it. I can feel it. It'll actually vibrate and the screen will pop on. The splash screen just takes a while, especially when you first put the 2.1 software on here. There we go. We have the lights coming on. It vibrated. And pretty soon we'll have the operating device, the operating system for 2.1 booting up on this Samsung. There you go. There's the sound. There you go. You can see the clock's different. It's got the slider. I have to put my finger on it, slide it. That's it. 2.1 on the telephone. Now you gotta say, you can see a little voicemail error. Now you can't just go from here. You actually have to set up, I hope you know your Gmail account information because this is a Google phone. It runs off of Google. You have to know all that information. That's the first thing you want to do is to go into your settings and set that up through your account. Accounts in sync, set up your Gmail account and that will get this phone rocking and rolling. There you go. Let's go back. You can see about the phone. 2.1 update 1. It's got the 2.6.29 kernel and it's the Eclair version DDO3. And that's it. Have fun. Now I plug the phone back in. I forgot I had to put the files back onto it so you can see it's plugged into the computer. Through the USB, you'll see the little icon right up here. Pull it down. And it says uh, to turn on or turn off. I've already hit turn on USB mass storage. So now I'm going to go ahead and pull up my folders that I created earlier. There we go. Here we have re removable disk M, which happens to be the Samsung. I'm opening that up. You'll see one file in there. Lost.dir for directory. Anyway, I already have that in my saved folder and cell backups. It's my friend Darren's phone. I'm opening that. Here's all his folders. You'll see here's that lost.dir directory. So we're going to go ahead and overwrite the one that's in his phone already. So we don't care about that folder. You can either erase it or overwrite it. It doesn't matter. I'm highlighting all the files. I'm going to right click, carry them all back over, and I'm going to say move because they're my friend's files. They're not mine. And I'm not going to keep them on my computer. Anyway. You can see they're moving all the way back over to his phone now. And it's going to ask me, do I want to rewrite that directory? I say, yeah, just write over it. It's almost done. There we go. Here it is. Destination already has a folder. And I'm going to say, do you want to still merge it? And I'm going to say, that I don't want to merge it. Well, actually, with 7, I'm going to say yes because it's just going to go ahead and put the, the files in there. So now, if you go into 
this folder. It's the same. It's just a folder. It had nothing in it. They just put that on the phone. I don't even really understand what it's for. Anyway, his phone's going to run. His contacts are going to come up. Let's get his telephone again. Let's boot it back on. Okay, I'm going to unlock it. And now I can bring up his contacts. And it's going to tell me to set up the Google account. So I'm going to go ahead and set up the Google account and then come right back.